there. Do you like kombucha? I might not even know what it is. It's fermented tea. Um, it's kind of sweet and sour. Um, it's somewhere between beer and lemonade, but nothing like shandy. Uh, and it's not very alcoholic. It's very, very low in alcohol. But it does have a little bit. Um, and I think it's delicious. Mm. And I'm going to tell you how to make it. First thing I'm going to do is sniff some bottles. Why on earth am I talking about? I just want to smell if you know if it smells rotten or foul in any way, then I'm going to have to really clean the, um, the bottles properly. So that's the first thing. Smell smells to me. I'm getting a hint of yeastiness, acriness. It sort of reminds me of kombucha, not surprisingly. Uh, but there's nothing unpleasant. Because I did thoroughly rinse them whenever I finish a bottle. You know, when I, I finish a bottle, straight away to under the tap, rinse it in just ordinary tap water. Okay, and that's what we're going to do now. Just cold water. Put them up a bit. Rinse the tap. And what I do is stick my finger in, kind of mostly, leaving a little bit of an air gap. And then when you shake it, the... Because what's going to happen, the cold water is going to chill the air and, and, and shrink it. Um, and it just stops it from, from hurting the bottle, you know, with too many pops and cracks. So you may find, as in this case, we started off with a nice clean hanky and the kombucha sort of bubbled up and uh, stained the, the hanky a bit. But that's all right, not a problem. Okay, we can take that off. You can see there's the scoby, it's sort of brand new. You can see, in fact, it's bubbling away. I don't know if you can see the bubbles there in the camera. Can we see bubbles? It's alive. And so what we're gonna do is just pour about half of that into the mixing bowl that I've got. Like this. Good. Put about half of it in. No, that's not quite half. Give it a good shake. Yeah, you get all that good stuff that's settled into the mix. Some people, you know, are into sort of filtering out and all that. I don't think that's a good idea. You want all the good stuff. Well, that's what we're doing this for. It's not just the taste. It's supposed to be good for you. So, something like that. So there's your scoby, and you've got a new one formed on the top. And there's, you know, you can see there's sort of these two layers. So this is a newly formed one. Now I've actually already um, split this quite recently, so I, I'm going to leave that like that. But you can't, you, you will need from time to time to split it off, otherwise you just, it will just keep going and going and going. Okay, so we're back to sniffing bottles again. Slightly different reason at this time. These were rinsed half an hour or so ago, and I cannot smell any chlorine, and that's the main thing. Right, let's fill these bottles. Before I do that, though, I'm going to give them a good shake out. So we've got to get some sugar into uh, these bottles. Just a level teaspoon. Here's a rather fancy funnel that my wife's got, and. A matching measuring spoon, isn't that cute? Now, let's say I'm just going to get a level teaspoon and pour that into the bottle by the funnel. And we do that three times. Right, give it a good stir. Alright, what I tend to do is just pour a little bit in. enough to sort of, it makes the bottle a bit steadier, you know, to start with. And then what I found is, rather than trying to get every drop out, just tilt it so that this is more or less horizontal and it tends not to drip as you pass to the next bottle and do the same thing. Uh, 
and then I carry on a bit. Now why don't I just fill one bottle completely and then the next? Well, it's about mixing all this goodness. Now I'm going to top it out because it's, it's sort of doing the same process. Sort of partly filled and then filling it all the way up. Now all the way up is probably about there to actually make a litre. But I tend to put a bit more in because we've got the juice. Might as well use it. Any bottles will do. Um, there's some theory that plastic ones have a tendency to expand rather than explode. Uh, I just haven't got around to getting nice glass ones. And then we just put the cups in. And I like to give them a good shake. Quite fun because you can feel it sort of expanding the fizz, so making the, the uh, plastic bottle stiff. I do remember obviously to tighten up the caps well before you do the shaking. And that's it for this stage. <laughs> 